So you've been clinging on to that classic Creator Studio escape hatch for months and all of a sudden YouTube has pulled it away from you. There's surely no way back, is there? Let's find out. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. So the way this used to work was that from most YouTube desktop screens, you would click on your profile image in the top right hand corner and then click on the YouTube studio. Yes, that would take you to the brand new YouTube studio, but you would see the classic studio button escape hatch at the very bottom left hand corner of the screen. But it ain't there no more. So let's give this a try instead. Click on your profile image as before, but this time click on your channel to take you to your channel page. Next, click on the customize channel button, and this will show you one of the old pages YouTube still hasn't fixed. At the very top of the screen, you will see your subscriber count. And if you click on that, it will take you to the subscriber list in the classic studio. And from there, you can navigate around the old school way. And when you realize that these old screens open up backdoor access to the classic studio, you can start to get quite creative. For example, go to the audio library from the new studio that still shows the classic version of the audio library, then click on your profile image, which will show you the old school link to the creator studio. Studio. Hello, I'm Rob and welcome to vidIQ, the YouTube tool, channel and academy that educates you on your YouTube journey. Make sure to subscribe so that we can help you grow your channel. Now, quick question, why do you still want to use the classic Creator Studio? Let us know in the comments below. If it's because you want to use the analytics in the classic studio, then uh, yeah, I got some bad news for you. If you click on any of the graphs in the analytics panel of the dashboard, that will take you to the new studio. If you click the see all link from the analytics panel on the dashboard, that takes you to this screen that tells you to use the new studio along with a video, but no analytics. And if you click on the analytics link in the classic studio, it takes you to the same place. You can see where we're going with this, right? Some parts of the Classic Studio do still work, such as the Video Manager page, for example, but you can't backdoor your way into the analytics from there either. I'll tell you one screen that does still work though, and that's the comment page, which I might actually switch back to because I don't know about you, but the comments page in the new studio grinds to a halt when you try and read and reply to too many messages. So as of day of recording, April 21st, 2020, you can still access the Classic Studio. And let's do a straw poll. Which do you prefer, the new studio or the classic one? Give us a vote up here and tell us why in the comments below. Now, let's be honest about this. It's not gonna take very much for YouTube to fix this little backdoor hack, so I do apologize if it no longer works. And YouTube, if this video annoyed you, well, hey, I've just found a bug for you. Where is my bounty? Now, in truth, this is all a bit of a pain in the butt for YouTube because the more of the classic studio they have to keep up and running, the more time and resources is spent maintaining that classic studio. So to be honest, we should all just leave it alone and let YouTube do their job because in my opinion, the new studio is ready to rock and roll. Now, if you do want more mini YouTube tips and tricks just like this, check out the video over here. And for regular viewers, I'm trying out a new layout. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. I would appreciate it. See you soon.